I'm Matthew Schmidt, Interim CEO of Alpha Esports Tech, ticker ALPA. So Alpha Esports Tech is our parent company that focuses on emerging markets in esports, mobile gaming, AR, and blockchain. And we have a strong mandate of focusing on the amateur and emerging gamer, which we find has a lot more white space and is a larger market segment of people, and less people are focusing on this. Amongst our portfolio of companies, Gamers Arena is one of our core assets, and this is a cross-platform social tournament provider. So it doesn't matter what game you're playing on or what platform you're playing on, users here can connect and win actual money and prizes. So to drive user growth, we've taken the same technology of organizing these online social tournaments and worked with large organizations that have globally recognized brands to meet their esports needs. Because they really view this as video games are the new social media. So to meet Gen Z's, Gen X's, and Gen Y's where they already are spending their time, that's in esports and online gaming. So with Gamers Arena Tech, we're working with uh, professional sports teams such as the Vancouver Whitecaps, the New Jersey Devils, pro colleges and universities such as Notre Dame University. And through these partnerships, we really look to becoming the gold standard and linking together a very fragmented industry right now and becoming the gold standard of scouting and ranking and amateur emerging gamers. We listed May 14th, 2021, and we're super excited to have a phenomenal team that we continue to build on and we're looking for other exciting opportunities in M&A to cross-pollinate value with our existing portfolio companies. We're working on AR Mobile, we're working on a utility token uh, across other social online platforms similar to Gamers Arena, and we're also working on skill-based betting. I think whatever we focus on in this space, it's really about adding value back to the end user and back to the gamer. And uh, we're really excited to be here chatting with you guys. Again, Matthew Schmidt, CEO of Alpha Esports Tech, ticker ALPA. ePlay has built games for ESPN, Sony Pictures, Intel, Time Warner Cable, and others. Games for sports and TV shows. We've also built games with seven-time NBA champion Robert Ori, Olympic decathlete Michael Smith, and comedian and producer Howie Mandel. Two worlds, or sets of games, uh, and you'll understand why I'm calling them worlds as I, as I describe these things. We launched our marketing for in April 2021, just a couple months ago, and two more are in development and testing. The first two that have launched are Howie's World or Howie'sGames.com and Rob Ori's World, Big Shot. One's based on basketball, the other's based on Howie's germophobia. The two worlds that we haven't launched yet are called Clocked and Fan Freak. And I'll talk about each of those uh, as well. Each world has games, live events, broadcasts, gambling, fashion, celebrity, advertising, big brands, stats, augmented reality, all the stuff you imagine from sports and esports, NFTs, media, and digital and physical merch. Clock is another world we're building. It's an augmented reality fitness app and really is a network that connects sports and games you do to the sports and games you watch. And that's a really important piece for gaming and esports and where they intersect. So we have medals, trophies, prizes, friendly competitions with all these worlds, epic challenges, and brilliant moments that you'll want to relive. We own the IP, ePlay does, it's very, very important. And we own that IP, including in our fourth world, Fan Freak. And Fan Freak is coming along because of new legislation in Canada, Canada related to single game sports betting. Fan Freak helps bring as much as $14 billion, according to uh, PricewaterhouseCoopers, in offshore and illegal betting back into Canada. My name is David Vinokur. I'm the CEO of Fandom Sports Media Corp. The symbol is FDM. Uh, we are building a purpose-built modular web-based platform that allows esports fans to interact with live in-game data feeds to allow them to predict what's going to be happening within esports streams. Further to that, we're also building out a wagering platform that will allow people to make predictions with real money attached. What we have coming down the pipeline are partnerships uh, with other wagering platforms on an affiliate basis, new modular ways for people to interact with those data streams and various new marketing partnerships with professional teams and leagues that we're working on. Uh, over the coming six months, people will see us expanding our footprint uh, to various different uh, markets around the world on the wagering side, uh, expanding our footprint uh, to our esports team partnerships and us also as well getting into sports wagering. Uh, we have lots of exciting developments coming down the pipeline. Uh, looking forward to keeping all of our investors posted 
Uh, so thank you very much and keep an eye on fandom sports media. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Scott Burton. I'm the, the CEO of Fans Unite Entertainment. Uh, we trade on the, the CSE under the symbol FANS, F-A-N-S. And we're a, a global iGaming online sports betting gambling company uh, based out of Vancouver, Canada. Operations spread out uh, basically around the world. Um, we do a lot of traditional sports betting. We do casino, but esports is really where uh, my company, which was Ascot Entertainment, that merged into Fans Unite, really got its start. Uh, we were a pioneer in the esports betting space going back to 2014. We created the first ever dedicated daily fantasy site for esports called esportspools.com. And then we set out to build uh, dedicated betting products for the esports market. Uh, we started out being the first ever licensed esports betting operator out of the Isle of Man, which is a highly regulated tier one gaming jurisdiction. Uh, we've since gone on to run our own esports betting sites uh, and move towards offering our, our platform, which we call the Chameleon Gaming Platform. So it's a, a B2B offering for other operators who want to get into the esports betting space. So while we continue to operate a few um, esports betting sites ourselves that are direct to consumer, uh, most notably VamosGG.com, which is a Brazilian focused esports site. Uh, we offer a software platform for other operators who want to get into the esports betting space. So we can do everything from the uh, risk management, the payments, the KYC, the licensing, if they don't want to get gaming licenses. And we do that around the world. So we hold uh, two licenses out of Malta. We have a Curacao license. We are in the process of obtaining our UKGC license. And then we've recently announced uh, going into the uh, US market in Colorado. Um, so we are a, a rapidly growing company. Um, esports and technology is part of our, our backbone. And we see esports as uh, being a massive piece of the online betting space going forward. So in tons of news, most uh, recently around the US and Canada around sports betting. Um, outside of that, we're seeing huge growth in esports, and we expect the same here in, in Canada and the US. And going forward, we expect in the next five to 10 years, esports betting to probably make up 10% of any real sports books betting handle. So it's a space that cannot be ignored from a, a gaming standpoint. We already know what it does for the entertainment industry bigger than movies, bigger than music, bigger than sports. Um, and that's why we're extremely bullish on the, uh, the opportunities around esports and esports betting. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm Matt Bailey, CEO of Game On Entertainment Technologies, ticker symbol G-E-T. Get, we recently listed just a couple of weeks ago. And what do we do? Uh, Game On Entertainment Technologies, we partner with the biggest and most watched content providers in the world. So we're talking teams, leagues, TV networks, OTT platforms, sports books, and everything in between. And we make their content more engaging and social. How do we do it? We do it through predictive gaming. So think things like prediction games, collectibles experience. Let me give you an example. Uh, we recently partnered with MX Player, one of the biggest and most watched uh, OTT platforms in India. So we'll be powering their prediction games, totally white labeled, uh, prediction games that look and feel like their environment and game on is the engine behind it uh, if you're in india and you're on the ott platform you'll be able to go in make your predictions of what will happen during that game uh, get points compete against others win prizes and we power that technology totally programmatically for that content provider and making their content more engaging and social. We don't just do it in sports, we do it across entertainment as well. So we've recently partnered with NBC Universal, Bravo, for The Real Housewives. So we have a pipeline really, really full with content owners and content providers right across the spectrum from sports to entertainment. Now, why you should invest in us is not only because we have a great innovative product, but we also have a great team behind it as well. I come from sports. I've worked for the Brooklyn Nets and Barclays Center, uh, always on the business development side. Our chief product officer, Santi, uh, comes from a strong games background. He built FIFA EA Sports for many years and more recently was the mastermind behind NBA Top Shot at Dapper Labs. Our chairman was the original creator of Grand Theft Auto and still remains on the board of Take-Two Interactive. And we have various others uh, on our advisory board or, on our, or as a director from DraftKings, skills, media, gaming, and sports. So we're the right guys to hit this out of the park. 
One more reason why you should invest in us is that we're super early. Uh, this is the right time to get involved and enjoy the ride and enjoy the upside with us. So again, this is Matt Bailey, CEO of Game On, and we look forward to talking more about our business soon. Hey, I'm uh, Kevin Wright. I'm the president of Game Square Esports, and I'm really excited to uh, take a few minutes to walk you through what it is that we do and who we are. Uh, so GameSquare is a digital media and agencies business. We operate a, a talent agency called Code Red out of Europe, uh, and we, we operate a digital media group called the Gaming Community Network uh, out of Los Angeles. So that's the core of our business, and we think that the digital agencies are a really interesting place to be because you're sitting between the big brands that are coming into esports and the massive fan base that continues to grow, not just uh, from the pandemic, but as a new generation of uh, folks are coming into uh, media and engaging with video games as a really interesting place to be. And a lot of people ask us, you know, why are people watching video games? I can't imagine that. And the reality is that we don't have to understand why it's happening, but it is happening. There's 600 million people globally that are engaging with video games. Now, the other side of our business are esports organizations. And so we have a team in Asia and we have a team in South America that compete in Crossfire, which is one of the largest games in the world, and League of Legends, which is arguably the most popular and the biggest game uh, in the world. And so this gives us a global footprint by which to serve the brands that we, uh, we operate with. What differentiates us uh, in our mind is that we are targeting profitability sooner than, you know, in our mind, as, as we understand it, any other organization uh, that's certainly that's publicly listed. So profitability is a really important piece. The other piece that differentiates uh, ourselves, I mentioned I was the president, uh, is our CEO, Justin Kenna, who was with FaZe Clan. FaZe Clan is the leading uh, esports brand in the world, the leading esports gaming lifestyle brand. And so Justin saw revenues grow by about 15x uh, and they nabbed the fourth spot on the Forbes list. So we think we're really well positioned in terms of profitable businesses that sit at the intersection of brands and fans. And we've got a management team with X phase clan uh, folks on it, uh, as well as leading uh, global uh, uh, company executives uh, out of the, uh, the US group. So we think we're really well positioned to continue to grow. We've done two uh, acquisitions since being public in October. Our market cap has increased 3x uh, in that time, and we're just getting started. So M&A is a very important part of our growth strategy alongside of the organic growth that we're driving within the business. So I'll leave it at that. We're GSQ on the CSE, uh, and we look forward to answering any questions that investors have at IR uh, at gamesquare.com. Thanks very much. Peter Gang here, CEO and president of Royal Winds. Taking the opportunity to tell you about Royal Winds, we're, we're the world's first pure skill gaming company, real money, which will enable you to play hyper-casual, pure skill games in return for cash and non-cash prizes. But we're very, very keen on the space. Skill gaming has been on the forefront of, of many companies for a while now, and we're looking to actually leverage off that. We actually started about um, probably four or five years ago. We went gangbusters until you know, racing up the Apple and, and Google charts, we were asked whether we had a license to, to do real money gaming. And we subsequently got one from the Tanawake Gaming Commission. So we're on App Store, we're on the Android platforms. It's hyper casual gaming, pure skill gaming. We're looking at um, player versus player platforms, uh, non-cash prize platforms. And one of the things that we're really keen on is entering into the esports space. That's a space that's seen growth in, in, in exponential terms. We've been speaking to Amuka Sports. I think Amuka Esports is one of the listed entities on the CSE. And um, we're speaking to some of the esports management teams. Our esports platform is going to be called Coliseum. Not only do you get to, to uh, um, watch key teams play, but you also get the chance to wager against uh, uh, um, other people as to who wins who wins on the um, platform. So between our pure skill games, our 
um, tournaments platform for hyper casual games, our esports platform for, for moving forward. I think we're in a really good space. Moving forward, look, there are lots of opportunities out there for, for blockchain gaming, crypto currencies, and we're keen and enthusiastic about all of them. We'll be listed in by the end of the month, hopefully. And we're looking forward to, you know, more investors, more people who buy into our story and, and um, follow us on this journey. So thanks very much. My name is Shifteen Diamond Tajani, and I'm the CEO of Victory Square Technologies, ticker VST on the CSC. Uh, we were created in 2017, uh, basically to give investors early ground floor access to a diverse portfolio uh, that currently has about 28 companies in key sectors such as gaming, uh, esports, crypto, augmented and virtual reality, cybersecurity, uh, and cloud computing. We basically give investors access to the next generation of tech giants before they're giants. Tech is borderless. So this portfolio comes from some of the top incubators from around the world, from Delhi, India, Sao Paulo, Brazil, Berlin, Germany, Tallinn, Estonia. Uh, we've basically formed some of the top minds, um, not only in the esports and gaming sector, but just in a variety of other sectors that, that we believe kind of touch um, that, uh, that area and sector. Um, within our portfolio, there are about 10 that have specific exposure and direct exposure to esports and gaming. Um, so we've looked at kind of different picks and shovels within you know, gaming ecosystem. So from betting and fantasy game development, uh, tech around platforms, infrastructure, marketplaces, uh, arenas and, and advertising and sponsorship. Some examples of, of those companies would be Fans Unite, which is which is also publicly traded on the the, the CSC under ticker FANS. Uh, Game On Entertainment Technologies, again under the ticker GET on the CSC. Uh, immersive Tech, Next Decentrum, Shape Immersive. I mean, the list goes on. We've kind of looked at you know some of the brightest minds uh, working in this space and sector. Specifically for our company, like I mentioned, we give investors access to a diverse portfolio. So not a one trick pony. Um, you know, there's there's 20 chances to kind of knock it out of the park uh, with one one share, one ticket of VST. We've got a very healthy balance sheet. We've had five consecutive quarters of positive net income and earnings per share. Uh, we've issued a share dividend out earlier in 2021. Um, our most recent audited financials we recorded, which was for 2020. Uh, we recorded $16.3 million of positive net income and earnings per share of about 30 cents. So, uh, you know, sector wise, we think this space has tremendous room to grow. Uh, we've, you know, we've got 10 specifically in that space that we think are going to be uh, home runs. And we feel the entry point for investors to, to, to get exposure to this space through VST is super attractive. So, yeah, excited, uh, you know, excited for investors to, to, to you know, to, to ride this roller coaster with us. My name is John Dwyer. I'm the CEO and chairman of Wonder Gaming, which is very proudly listed on the Canadian Ex uh, Securities Exchange. At Wonder Gaming, we view the landscape of esports and conventional sports as being one that is intersecting more and more every day. And as such, we've harnessed the NFT non fungible token arena through our acquisition of EGI and the launch of our uh, NFT indices and NFT marketplace, which is memestation.com, um, as an opportunity to bring gamers and athletes together under one roof and integrate the gaming community across the globe with the brands that are most important to them. And in that experience as well, we're also harnessing loyalty and rewards, which we find is a very meaningful tool to help again, the gaming ecosystem liaise with the brands that are most important to them and achieve savings. We think that creative content with amazing companies like Reddit and Twitch is really where the future lies as it relates to how to access the gaming community and provide them with the content. And again, access to very unique uh, uh, opportunities to purchase products like brand new sneakers that are incredibly important to all things gaming or new gaming console hardware or even products that are non-endemic like opportunities to open your first checking account, have an opportunity to get interest rate bearing credit cards and things of that nature that throughout the lifeline of a, of a gamer, whether it's a 12 year old, an 18 year old, a 28 year old and beyond, 
this industry provides a very unique opportunity for companies like ours to bring brands into the ecosystem in an authentic way to help the gaming community achieve the kind of deals that they deserve and help the brands understand exactly who they're selling to. So we achieve that through our NFT platform. We achieve that through our, uh, our loyalty and rewards platform, which is gonna be launched just after Labor Day, uh, which is called gamingawards.com. And we're incredibly bullish on all things esports. I think our community at large, thanks to some of the great leaders, many of which, by the way, have come out of Canada in the space, um, are, we're, we're emerging out of an industry that has been diagnosed as nascent, right? We're now something that is being viewed as a group of companies in their own individual silos that are accessing 2 billion plus people across the planet every day that are playing video games. And at the end of the day, what works in this industry, in our opinion, are businesses that strive every day to have an authentic engagement with the gamer to provide them with great deals on products that they're already buying, but also to be on the cutting edge of new innovation and to provide unique opportunities uh, for them to interact with athletes, gamers, professional esports teams, professional sports teams, and as well as musicians. And you're gonna to continue to see a lot of that coming from our individual silos uh, in NFT uh, and our gaming loyalty and rewards program. So we're very excited. Um, and, and we're just delighted to be on the CSC. It's provided us a huge opportunity, um, you know, in the capital markets to find the style of investors that are very bullish on the future of esports. Uh, and we're just delighted to be at the at what we believe the center of it. Um, and, and we think that Canada is going to continue to provide uh, a very strong and lucrative marketplace that punches well above its weight as it relates to esports and gaming. Swami Media is a gaming and esports technology company. We deliver a software as a service solution to telecom operators around the world and enable them to reach and monetize the gaming generation, the younger generation, millennials and the digital natives. Using our technology platform, telecom operators deliver an amazing gamer engagement solution with live streaming capabilities. And they host daily events such as challenges and tournaments where gamers can participate and have fun and earn points. With the points they earn, gamers can buy in-game items in our platform store. On top of that, using our patent pending technologies, telecom operators can deliver the ultimate ultra low latency gaming experience to their subscribers. For this service, Telecom operators charge somewhere around $5 to $8 per user per month. Swami gets around 40% of that revenue stream, somewhere between $2 to $3 per gamer per month. We are targeting the region with the largest gaming population in the world, 2 billion gamers, LATAM. Asia, Africa, and Middle East. With our patent pending gaming technologies, we are bringing the gaming population, the telecom operators, and the game developers together to build and deliver the largest and the best gaming platform in the world.